Well, Mr. and Mrs. Chase, looks like those fertility drugs paid off. <gasps> oh, my God! We're finally going to have a baby. I love you. I'm so happy. I don't think I'm ever going to stop smiling. Ah! 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 Here it comes. Ah! It's a boy. Ah! Oh, you hear that, honey? It's another boy. Ah! That makes three boys and two girls. Holy crap, it's like a litter. <laughs> How do you feel? Like a parade just came out of my vagina. <laughs> Let's never have sex again. Don't worry, honey. After what I've seen today, I'm good. <laughs> oh, don't cry. I know that five seems like a lot, but somehow, some way, we'll get through this horrible, horrible nightmare. I'm crying because they're so beautiful. Yeah, that's why I'm crying, too. <laughs> Stop it, stop it, stop it! Can't you go five minutes without fighting? <laughs> Remember we once said we'd never yell at them? <laughs> How come everyone else gets new clothes and I only get to buy underwear and socks? Don't compare. You get lots of things that the others don't. Like growth hormones. <laughs> that was money well spent. Mom, the weirdo's touching my face again. Pierce, stop it. I can't help it. I'm very tactile. <laughs> then go touch that big fuzzy ball we got you. Ooh, the ball. <laughs> He'll be living with us until we die. You know, you shouldn't let Pierce annoy Penny like that. It's bad enough everyone at school makes fun of her. Everyone? <laughs> Even the girl with the unibrow. <laughs> I hate this family. Penny. Dad. Need some advice. Shoot. All right, so there's this really, really hot girl, Brooke, and I think she's into me, but then there's this other really hot girl who's totally into me. So, do I settle for the really hot girl or hold out for the really, really hot girl? I'm gonna give you five seconds to get the hell out of here. You can suck or you can shine. Got a crowded house, but I've got mine. Did you notice the Quints didn't buy one piece of identical clothing? They used to look so adorable in their little matching sailor suits. Honey, people thought they were chimps. <laughs> I'm worried about how much they're fighting. They used to be such good friends. Yeah, you know what I'm worried about? They're bleeding us dry. I miss the old days when we used to get stuff for free. We had applesauce coming out our ass. Good times. I read in my Quince chat room that the Hellberg Quince got a Lexus ad. The Hellbergs. Those kids are a cash cow. It's not fair. They're the same age as ours. Okay, so maybe the Hellbergs are still adorable and we've got a few... weak links. We do not. I think Patton might be a dwarf. I just wish the Quince would do more things together. Yeah, like a Jello ad. I'm sorry, I love them, but they have taken away our lives. We never get to do anything fun, alone, just the two of us. You're right. I think you and I could use some romantic time. Really? I got eight minutes before the wash is done. Eight minutes? That gives us time to do some fancy stuff. <laughs> the back door, stand in line. Got a crowded house, but I've got mine. <laughs> <laughs> help, help me please, it's on my windpipe. <laughs> what are you doing? Walking up for the ladies, it's maintenance season, bruh. Hello? Hey, Brooke. Saturday night? Cool. Yeah, I'll see you there. Later. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Why am I happy? Brooke Taylor is having a party and she said she really wants me to go. I'm so in. I can handle party Saturday night. And me too. Uh, 
Sorry, she didn't invite you guys. Believe me, I tried as hard as I could. We were standing right here. You didn't say a word. Look, we can Monday morning quarterback this thing to death, but bottom line, you're not going. Come on, Parker, you've got to get us invited. Forget it. I've had Brooke on my radar for a long time, and I'm not going to let you mute and screw it up. You don't understand. I've got to meet some babes. There's a rumble in my jungle. I hear you. I hear you. And I'd take you if I could, man, but unfortunately, you have to be this tall to enter the party. Oh, not even close. That's it. It's go time. Oh! And, and, oh. Now we're talking. What the hell is that? Oh! Oh, oh wow. These guys are pissed because they weren't invited to Brooke Taylor's party. What's the big deal? You're not the only ones who weren't invited. You weren't invited either? Of course I was. I'm talking about Penny, and she's handling it great. If it was me, I'd kill myself. <laughs> well, let's pretend it's you. Well, you know my two or more rule. If two or more of you are invited to a party, you all have to go or no one goes. Uh, honey, if you're done here, I'd like to finish our discussion about modern trends in architecture. Oh, God, they're going to have sex. Hello? Oh, my God, don't panic. Brooke's having a makeup crisis. That's Brooke? Can I have the phone? Why? Your makeup choices are questionable at best. Hi, Brooke, can I speak to your mother, please? Mother? Ha, ha. <laughs> Hi, this is Carol Chase. Yeah, listen, I was wondering if you could invite three more kids to Brooke's party. Oh, really? Well, I'm glad we spoke, too. Bye. <laughs> well, problem solved. So we're all going? No, none of you are going. Turns out Brooke's mother's going out of town and didn't know about the party. So now it's canceled. Thanks, Mom. My life is completely over. Welcome to the club. <laughs> okay, honey. Those trends in architecture aren't going to discuss themselves. Uh, sorry, honey. I've got that laundry to do. Oh, I get it. We switched codes. <laughs> hey, why are you going to the laundry room? <laughs> That's great. Because of us, there's no party. We're dead meat at school. I don't even know where the loser kids eat lunch. Will you show us, Penny? I don't eat with the losers. I eat by myself. Hi, honey. Hi. Have you had quality time with Pierce this week? No. I'm putting you down for Thursday. And no turning it into a father-son nap again. Hi. Guess where we're going Saturday. Let me check the board. It, it's, it's not on the board. Everything is on the board. The board is life. Forget about the board. You and I are going to a Springsteen concert. <gasps> Jake at work had some extra tickets, so I bought them off him. Oh, that's great. The Quints will love it. Oh, it's something they'll never forget. Well, actually, it's something they'll never remember because they ain't coming. What? Honey, you and I need some time to ourselves. Get wild. It's either this or take another awkward swing at bondage. You're right. Let's go. <laughs> well, that was the worst day of school ever. And all thanks to Mom, the party killer. Fifteen years of popularity out the window. Does great hair and a fairly good personality mean nothing anymore? We've got to do something to save our reps. We're social outcasts. I'm not a social outcast if I choose not to be a part of the group. Sing a new song, sister. Hey, kids. Uh, what's the matter? Well, because of what Mom did, the whole school hates us. Oh, hey. I know teen years are tough. I mean, it's all about 
fitting in, social pressure, what you're doing Saturday night. But, you know, as you get older, you realize that it's not that important. Unless you got tickets to Springsteen. <laughs> what? Saturday night, I am taking your mom to see the boss. Mwah. Rock and roll! <laughs> I can't believe our parents have a better social life than we do. I think I know a way to get this social stink off us. We have the party here Saturday night while Mom and Dad are at the Springsteen concert. What if Mom and Dad find out? They'll kill us. Relax. They aren't going to find out. They still don't know about the time Pierce ate all those batteries. I never had more energy. <laughs> Saturday night, the boy becomes a man. You know, it's a good thing I got a bunk bed so the ladies have a place to sit while they wait their turn.